less than a Everybody in this rap world, they talking about his money. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying I'm the richest nigga in the game because Fresh Prince, all these, it's a lot of niggas with money. But I'm saying it's like, it's not the money that I'm bragging about. When people see me with the jewels, it's not that. It's for these, yes, so. it's for these little niggas to see. You just see me in cuffs, shot up in a wheelchair with my head wrapped up. And you see me less than a fucking year later bailing through this motherfucking jewel down like Saka Zulu. Banging on niggas. I got this whole shit shook up. Everybody talking about this West Side shit, right? People like West, uh, Ice Cube started. I was in jail when Ice Cube was out. No, that wasn't no problem. The day I got out of jail, it was a motherfucking problem to be where the fuck you was from. The day I stepped out, that's power. I want these little niggas to see that. I didn't get that power from guns because there's no guns in jail. I got that power from books and from thinking and by strategizing. That's what I want little niggas to see. And that, that just for a year, niggas think, you know, you've been in the game so long, but it took all that shit didn't matter because the rape, or oh, it, it veto all that. As soon as they charge you, but even if you ain't do it, it veto your career. I started from scratch with Death Row, a new company. Not in, I was independent when I was Tupac. Me against the world, I just bought my old managers out. I had it all now. I re-signed to, to be a part of this. For my own, for this to make my own shit bigger. And now I got Machiavelli Records. And Machiavelli is the first artist on that. And then One Nation is the second artist on that. And then um, uh, I'm, I, I'm signing um, Greg Nice and Smooth to either me or Quest. I got another group at Quest, Ghetto Stars, that's like an offshoot of the Outlaws, you know what I mean? I got New Jersey as part of the West Side now. You know what I mean? Just like, just like war, we put our flag in Jersey. We ain't taking over Jersey, it's still East Coast. But it's just the West Side, there's, there's now a West Side to New Jersey. Because West Side is not part of the map. I'm not no dumbass motherfucking, I don't bang for the color or the, or the, or the land. I bang for the principles and for the honor. I'm banging for the West Side. This is in my heart. This, this, this is how I feel, not West Side, California. Right, this is right, where I'm right. from. It's, it's, it's basic like that, but it's really deep, like West Side. You know what I mean? When I be throwing at the W, it ain't for California. I love California, but the W is for just the East Side. It's the West Side. It's the Middle uh, middle America, and we divided. And that's why I throw this up. We at war right now. W for war. You understand? And when we all get together, when the East Coast and the West Coast and the Middle America get together, we got power. Right, right. And that's when I won't throw it up no more. When we all together. They only see me doing like this. And that's when we closer to arm again. But we ain't there. We still all separate in tribes, so I know what tribe I'm in. I'm in the West Side. There's no way. I'm a soldier. I always be true to those being true, being true to them. And New York shouldn't be tripping. They should be loving this because they the ones that gave me the game to do this. In addition to this, because it's West Coast rappers too that don't do that. Right. What made me raw is that I'm West. I got both. I'm the future of, a, of Black America. When we, when, we, when we manifest the best of the West Side and the best of the East Side, and we bring that together, you know what I mean? When East Coast G's have sex with West Coast G's, G these G's being women, and they have kids, that's going to be the, the, the new breed. You know what I mean? When you start reading this culture with this gangbang shit. Right. That's the new breed. That like United Ghetto. Right, right. To get out. But right now, we stuck. And the only thing we can do is start living by the I know you talked about the Ture article mm -hmm. where he said that this was not just, you, you weren't a recording artist. You were like a, you know what I'm saying, theatrical type shit. You said I was saying? acting. Yeah. This is what I don't like, uh -huh. is that, my mother told me that when Malcolm was alive, writers used to do shit like that. Right, right. And then when he died, that same nigga will be talking about, he interviewed me, he'll be writing a book about right, my life, right, and right, right, it'll right. be the whole thing. Right. And I just don't like that. Right. Support me. If you don't understand right. me, don't write about me. I don't ask black niggas to jock me. I'm just saying, be honest. You uh, know I'm, you doing something I can't do, and I'm doing something you can't do. I respect you, respect me. Right, you right. know there's no nigga out here like this. Uh, I don't have no insecurity about that, and no, no delusions. Ain't no nigga like Tupac putting it down. My weaknesses and my strengths. But everybody know my strengths definitely outweigh my weaknesses. As long as that, I'm a human being, like everybody else. And, I, and if I meet somebody perfect, then they can train me. Right. And they can help me be perfect, but there ain't nobody out there perfect. So we'll all just get along with each other. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? I felt like that was wrong thing to do that because that's something. I'm, like I always was raised like there's certain times when you don't fuck with a nigga. When he's down, you don't kick a nigga. Right. That's what I thought. 
You know what I mean? And all this, this, this really taught me about like this black people thing. I don't believe, I, I'm black, I believe in my people, but I believe in my people as it relates to my tribe. I don't believe in us overall, just imaginary niggas. Black people attack me. I mean, not all black people, that's why it's not a, it's not a general thing. Like, I don't like black people no more. It's not that. I love black people. I love my people. I am black. But, but I'm saying, I don't look at it as general. Right. Now it's, I'm not racist anymore. Right. I kill myself for racism. Right, right. You know what I mean? Somebody be mad. Like, I went somewhere, somebody seen with a white girl, pop! can't believe it, but it's not to me it's like I'm a totally new human being before I was like that and I was bitter and I and that's why I was so evil towards black sisters when I went to jail because I felt like I didn't sleep I didn't fuck with them bitches to be there for y'all and y'all put, put me in jail all right well cool but now I was wrong to have that kind of thought because right. all black women don't owe me shit right. and I don't owe them shit you know what I mean but to represent you know what I mean but to be me you know what I mean procreate have better seeds make a better nation I possess his soul, his ancestors. They know that I was the truest nigga involved with Biggie's success. I was the biggest help. I was the truest nigga. I don't write his